Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a look at how you can reorder cells. So I already have a bunch of videos on table views on how to delete table cells and how to customize them, how to make custom table view cells and all that good stuff. But there is still one video that was missing and that is and one video that is very essential and that is this one which is how to reorder table view cells. So in this video, we are going to take a look at just that. So we start by opening up a new Xcode project or creating a new Xcode project. <coughs> and I'm going to make this a single view application. Uh, I'm just going to call it reorder cell. And then I'm going to save it on my famous desktop. So now I'm going to put it in full screen and head over to main.storyboard where we are going to lay out how our app is going to look and how it's going to appear. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to drag in a table view because it's going to be hard to reorder table view cells if we don't have a table view. So let's drag that in. Of course, you could also use a table view uh, controller but I just prefer to use a table view. I find that I have more control over that. So I'm just going to drag that in. And in fact, I'm going to leave some space up here because we are going to also drag in a bar, uh, navigation bar. So let's drag that up here, align it nicely with the, with the status bar. And then I'm going to align my table view to that navigation bar, just like that. And then I'm going to place some constraints on my navigation bar. In fact, I'm going to place some up here and to each side. And then I'm going to tell it to keep its height. And then I'm going to select my table view and also place some constraints here. So zero, 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 zero. And that will do when I add these constraints. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to add one prototype cell to my table view. So I just select my table view and then I add one table view cell. Now, one thing that I want to say here before I continue on, and that is that I have a separate video on how to create a table view. So if you aren't completely comfortable or know exactly what we're doing right here, then please refer to that video and just make sure that you know exactly how to set up a table view before continuing this video, because right now I'm just going to go quickly through it. So I'm, going, I'm creating a prototype cell, selecting that cell and giving it the reuse identifier cell. Enter, and that will do. And now we're going to give our na navigation bar some attention. I'm going to uh, change my title to numbers and I am going to drag in a bar button item and I'm going to drop it right here and I'm going to give it the title edit. So we are going to click on our edit button. And then when we do that, we will be able to drag around our table view cells, delete some of them and just reorder them. So here we have our layout and now we're going to connect this layout with our view controller. So I'm just going to drag in my table view and call it my table view. And I would encourage you not to name it table view because that can sometimes create some problems. Um, so just name it my table view or anything uh, that is pretty special. So I'm going to import that one and then I am going to also import my edit button as an outlet. So edit button as an outlet. And then I'm also going to import it as an action. So let's drag that in control drag, make it an action and I'm just going to name it edit and connect that one up. So here we have our buttons imported. We have our table view imported. And now let's jump over to our view controller. Oh, well, there's a one thing we need to do before we forget it. And that is to select our view table view, control drag over to our yellow button here and select data source and do the exact same thing. But this time select delegate. So now we're all set up with our table view or our storyboard is all done. And now we want to fill our table view with some data. And the way we do that is we create an array that is going to store all of our data. And my data is going to be one, two, three, four, and five. So strings one, two, three, four, five. And those are the elements that I'm going to display in my table view. And now we can set up our table view with our two famous functions. 
cell for row at index path and number of cells, number of rows. So we're going to type in number of, let's see, first I need to add the delegates, <coughs> UI table view delegate and UI table view data source. And now I will be able to use my functions number of, let's see, number of rows in section, let's see this one. And here we are just going to return, return the array dot length, not length, but count too much into JavaScript. So here we have defined how many rows we want. Now we're going to populate these rows by saying, uh, uh, what is it? Cell for all, cell for row at index path. And we start by creating our cell. So let cell is equal to table view dot dq re reusable cell with identifier cell, which was the name we gave our cell. And we're going to say cell dot text label dot text is equal to array at index path dot row. And then we're going to return this cell. And we probably need to force unwrap that in order to cell tell that we're sure that we have a cell here. So now we are going to launch our application and we aren't going to be able to restructure the table view yet, but we're just launching it to make completely sure that our table view is at least functioning properly before we continue on with the other stuff like reordering the table view. So here we have our table view, one, two, three, four, five, exactly as we wanted to display. And then we have our edit button here that doesn't do much right now. So let's change that. And what we do is we need two functions in order to uh, be able to reorder the cells. So functions to, or actually first we're going to use the function that allows reordering of cells. So this function just allows that. So we're going to need can move at index path. And we are simply going to, as you see, it requires a Boolean in return. So that's what we're going to give it. And we're going to return it true just to tell our application that we are going to allow um, the cells to be restructured. And then we are going to need a move row at index path. And this is going to handle everything with uh, the actual movement of the item in the array and then displaying that in our table view. So first we are going to uh, save uh, the item that we're currently moving around. And we do that by defining a constant named item. And that uh, constant we are going to fill with the item that our user wants to reorder. So we simply say is equal to array at source index path dot row. So as you can see, we have two variables here. We have source index path and we have destination index path. Source index path, the path is where we take our uh, cell from and destination is where we restructure it to. So let's say we take this one and then the source index path is going to be zero and then we release it here after five, then the destination index path is going to be four. So at the end of the array. So here we save our item that we want to move. And then we simply say array dot remove at, and we want to remove it at our source. Uh, let's see, source index path, source, <laughs> source index path. I'm just going to give up on that one. And then here we are going to insert the item in the new place in our array. And we do that by saying array dot insert and we want to insert the new element named item at our destination index path dot row. So right now what we have done is we have enabled the user to adjust all of the cells, but we haven't made the table view uh, editable yet. So if I now were to launch it, I would have exactly the same as I had last time we launched it. So we have now prepared it for, for um, we have now prepared the table view so that we can rearrange the cells, but we haven't made the table view editable yet. 
which is what we are going to do right now. So the way we do this is we go down to our edit button and we simply say my table view, uh, which is our table view outlet dot is editing. And we set that to the opposite of what it's currently is. So instead of using a switch statement or an if statement to check is or is the user currently editing, uh, we're simply saying that we constantly change it. So each time our user clicks the edit button, we change between editing and not editing. So we, so that's why we set the exclamation mark there. We take the opposite of what it currently is. So my table view dot is editing. And we can now run this on our simulator. And what we will be able to do is we will be, we will be able to click on the edit button and then now we will be able to rearrange the cells. So let's take a look at our app to see if that is indeed the case. And here we have our app. I can now click on edit and I'm able to, let's see, rearrange my cells. I can now click on edit one more time and there we go, I have rearranged the cells. Now one last thing that I want to do and that is to change the title of the button because as you can see, I click it but it says edit the whole time. I want it to say done when I am in editing mode. And the way I do that is very simple. I simply use an if or a switch statement to say switch and the value that I want to test against is my table view dot is editing and if it is true I'm going to do something and if it's uh, case false then I'm going to do something else and if we are currently editing I'm going to set our uh, edit button dot title is equal to done and if it is false I'm going to set edit button dot title c is equal to edit so let's launch our app and now our button or first of all we should be able to rearrange the cells and second of all the new add-on that we just made it should uh, the button should change its text or its title let's see if that is the case so i click on edit now and it says done i can rearrange my cells one uh, and I'm going to drag two down here let's see down there and then I click on done and we have the option to edit once again so here this is how you rearrange the cells now one thing I just want to mention uh, and that is as you can see we have the ability to delete here now when I click delete it actually does not delete but this is incredibly simple to implement and to do. I have a video and I will try to remember to link it up here. If I don't just search it up uh, on my channel, I have a video on how to delete table view cells. So you, you just take that exact same function that we used in that video and implement it here as well. And then you will not only be able to rearrange cells, but also delete them. So that's all for this video. That's all uh, about how you can go about rearranging cells. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos. Other than that, thank you for watching.